I mean, let's let's let's, let's like fast fast forward up to now, because hmm. we just got we started right from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Right now, so you you've set up, you've founded two companies, uh, three companies, you've helped set up big companies, and these kind of companies are those you would you know you would you see and very dominant in the Muslim yeah. in the Muslim realm. Yeah, uh, DAO organizations stuff like that. So you've been in the founding companies or committees of these yeah. organizations. I mean, like, and it's very interesting because all of these aspects that you've done, may Allah bless you. They, they've, mm. they, they're there for impact. They're there for the DAO. They're there yeah. for very important and purposeful endeavors. But it is very interesting to see the backstory behind all of this. Mm. How it starts from very small little acts, seeing things, reflecting as well. It's an act of reflecting. You had to reflect over that person. Carrying those boxes yeah. Yeah. to make you feel as if that's it, I have something to do yeah. with my life. Yeah. So it's, it's very interesting how it, if, you, if you look at the right now, the end of result, inshallah, the start result, the start of something. And you can see like, you know, subhanAllah, how it can all start mm. and where it can lead to yeah. as well, isn't what it? What builds on, how, how it helps build one thing on top of the other. Because yeah. obviously when you're there, you, you only realise those, those things. Once you get to this point, mm. right? Once you've had all those experiences, and now you realize how that built on top of each other. Mm. Yeah. So, like, I want to move on to the next topic, inshallah, because uh, you've founded one one organization, uh, and I was telling Shaib this as well, and, and you as well. Uh, when you sent me the video on WhatsApp, the Muslim Mastery, the organization that you yeah. set up, it helps it helps towards building mindset, isn't it? Towards, yeah. For, for Muslims. Yeah. Uh, in essence, and when you sent me that, I was like, oh. I was checking out their, uh, you know, I've got their podcast, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, when we were discussing we've the meetings, we've been, meetings, we've so been looking, yeah, mm. we were looking through various Muslim podcasts when we yeah. started our podcast, you know, we're, we're used for inspiration and stuff. And yours came up on it, and it's it's so interesting to see, uh, you know, what you know what you're doing in that aspect. But you haven't just done that; you've done other things as well. You've set up other, you've, you've set up a digital agency, right? Mm. Yeah. And uh, you're also working in another organization. Uh, is that called La Life, right? Life Digital is a company. Yeah, you have, Life yeah. Digital, and then yeah. the other one is. Uh, you have is um, what's the other company that you have? You have so the uh, main thing I do right now is Muslim Mastery, which is focused yeah. on uh, helping Muslims to have breakthroughs. Yeah, uh, that's one of the main things. It's all about the mindset and stuff because you can see how a slight twist in my mindset just shifted my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and within that, I do communications training, I do public speaker training. Uh, because communication is such a huge part of life and stuff. I'm sure we're going to go on to that later. That was on. the next part, yeah. Yeah, And then uh, Life Digital is a growth agency that I run. Yeah. Uh, it's called Life Digital because in life we believe that you're either growing or you're dying. Like if you look okay. at nature, yeah. it's either the plant is growing or it's dead yeah. or it's yeah. dying, right? And this is how we believe that uh, businesses and Muslim organizations should be, that they should be continuously growing. Right. Because yeah. if you're not continuously growing, yeah. then you, you're dying basically. There's no, there's no, there's no stalemate. There's no, there's no middle yeah. ground. Yeah. Right, and this is why yeah. I think that uh, on a on a like a daily basis, like education and development and growth is so important. Yeah. Uh, and me personally, like I've fallen in love with growth, education, development, all this thing, and that's why I spend my time coaching people. Yeah. I help Muslim organisations to grow, non-Muslim organisations to grow. Let's talk. A, let's talk a bit more about that actually, in terms of mentoring and coaching yeah. and stuff like that. So you mentioned growth is one of the really important aspects. Yeah. When it comes to growth, I mean, like. Uh, the way I see it is that you have to constantly innovate, constantly check what's going on, re, you know, re reiterate, yes. and change. And I think that when I look at Muslim organizations, I think that they have a very simple, simple mindset with raising business and having business. And they are kind of being shifted because times are changing mm. and they are not adapting to suit that change. Mm. Mm. But you also have some other aspects. Like, for example, you told me downstairs that they're also missing different strands like marketing yeah. and sales. Mm. But what would you advise in terms of, you know, when you uh, look at, uh, these organizations and you help people build these organizations what kind of advice would you give to them right so when it comes to organization there's so many different elements to it right um, I think that the first thing we need to think about is like objective like what is it that we're actually trying to achieve mm. sometimes it just kind of comes together right uh, sometimes it's planned like you know maybe you guys thought about this podcast you thought how are we gonna do it you sat down you wrote it all out yeah. and things like that right um, I think the biggest gap is that we as Muslims are not educating ourselves in the fields that we need to. Yeah, right. Right. So you have a Muslim organization which is great when it comes to, uh, you know, the knowledge of Islam and all these kind of things. Yeah. But the things that will help us to grow our organizations and our institutions, they're not good at. Sure. When it comes to people management and leadership, yeah. people are terrible. Yeah. They don't know how to manage people. Yeah. How are you going to build a great organization? Because if you look at organizations and businesses, 
in essence, they're people coming together exactly. for a common objective. Exactly. Yeah. So one, you have the common objective, and second is the people. So if you don't master these two yeah. things, yeah. what's going to happen? You're going you're gonna to have a deficient organization, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, and what, what are businesses there to do, organizations there to do? They are there to, actually, let's switch it on you. What are businesses there to do? <laughs> businesses are there to cater a certain service for the people. Okay. Product as well. Why? Uh, demand. To do what? That to particular add, thing. To add value. Very good. Excellent. Add value, right? Yeah. Most people say to make money. But the way they make money yeah. uh, is, is just another form of value. Money right? is, a, is a means, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So organizations yeah. especially okay. are there to add value, yeah. Yeah. right? And so what you need to get good at is actually adding value, mm. right? Mm. And different organizations will add different value. Yeah. So right now, you know, us being here and people watching this, it adds a certain value for them, yeah. right? Same with organizations that they come together to add value. 